All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give our praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash, Darana, said that was a possible great millstone who taught me the truth and rule well. Peace, blessing, and salvation. I came out there, scared about the four kings of the earth, that serve the truth and the truth sincerity. To I say, Shalom. As a button the ball, I come to you another video in the spirit. And the top of this video is going to be about why we are a holy people. Okay? And uh, what sparked this video was, you know, I watched a brother video talking about us being a holy people. And I was having this conversation with a Jake. And uh, Jake can't fully understand of us being a chosen people. Okay? And and we're and we're 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 a holy people at that because what the lord made us separate from these other nations we're not we're not like these other nations of people we're not we're not supposed to be living like these other nations of people okay the lord gave us gave only us the law statutes and commandments okay to live by he didn't do that with no other nation okay and that's just how the lord did the lord chose us and the lord the lord that's that's just what he decided to do he could have chose anybody, but he chose us to be the special people. I'm going to grab this. This is Leviticus 20 and 26. It says, And ye shall be holy unto me, for I, the Lord, am holy, and have served and have severed you from the other people, that you should be mine. Okay? The Lord chose us. The Lord decided to do that. Because what? He just found favor in us. Okay? He, 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 he made that decision. So with that, with, with us being that, it's a certain, a certain type of way we're supposed to conduct ourselves. A certain type of way you're supposed to live. You're not supposed to be following the, the uh, the philosophies of these other nations of people. But since we did that, the Lord had to bring us down. Okay, the Lord had to bring us down. And he had to punish us because we're 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 separate. That's what holy means. Holy means separate. I'm gonna come over here. To Deuteronomy 7 and 6, it says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord, the Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers, have the have the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt. This is verse nine. It says, "No, know therefore that the Lord thy power, he he is Yahweh, the faithful power, which keep which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him." And keep his commandments to thousands generation come so it said the lord chose us because what he loved us okay he made a covenant with our forefathers but but he and that we were the fewest of all people okay the lord chose us because he loved us and he like i said he found favor in us and we are the chosen people we are that holy people we are that separate people okay we're special the lord said we're special unto him so he put us above all the people of the earth but then we fail. But we're going to come back into that. But the Lord had to teach us a lesson first. Slide over here. It's Deuteronomy uh, 14 and 2. It says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power, and the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. That's just I'm just bringing this out just to you know double down on it. Okay, the Lord said it again. You know that we are holy people. He meant that. Okay, we are special people to the Lord. So this 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 you know, the Bible is for us. The Bible is our book. He gave this book for us and not for no other nations of people. Go over to Deuteronomy 28. This is 9, Deuteronomy 20 and 9. It says, The Lord shall establish thee in holy people unto himself, as he has sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy power and walk in his ways, and all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, 
and they shall be afraid of thee. Khan. And that's what happened. Okay? The Lord made us holy. The people of the earth seen that we were called by his name and they were afraid of thee. Okay? We had these nations afraid of us. Okay? But what? Jake started going off. So Jake, so the Lord allowed these other, the Lord allowed the other nations to, to be able to put us in captivity, to be able to come up against us, be able to war against us. And then we fell to this estate that we're in now. But it's okay. It's okay. This is all the lesson that we had to learn. But even with that being said, we're still the Israelites. Like, they didn't take away us being the Israelites. Yeah, it had a time where we discontinued from our inheritance. We didn't know who we, are, who, we, who we were. But the other nations of people knew who we were. Okay, we're still Israelites. We're still Jake. And at the end of the day, we're still going to inherit those promises of what? Being being the rulers of the kingdom of heaven. This is Psalms 147. In 19, it says, He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation, and as and as far as his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord, Khan. So there you go. He he doesn't he didn't he hasn't made he didn't do this wisdom and knowledge understanding standing to know other nations of people. Okay, he only gave it, he only showed his word unto Jacob. Okay. This this is wisdom and knowledge. I understand this for us. Okay, we're not supposed to be, we're not supposed to be uh, trying to teach all the nations of people because honestly, it's not for them. This this is our this is our prize. Okay, this is this is this salvation is for us, not for them. You know, this is our treasure, and we gotta cherish it. That's all I can. It's Baruch 4 and 1. It says, this, this is the book of the commandments of Yahweh and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but, but such as leave it shall die. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. O Israel, happy are we, for things that are pleasing to Yahweh are made known to us. So there you go. Okay? It's made known to us. To who? To Israelites. To the Native Latinos and Amer Native Americans. Okay? It says, Give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. This is profitable for us. And not to know the nations of people. So when you read scriptures like this, and you read scriptures that I just brought out earlier, that's talking about us. That's talking about the niggas, Latino, and Native Americans. We are the Israelites. We are the real Jews, okay? We are the ones who the Bible speak about. So we are that holy people that the that the that the Bible that the Bible talks about. So with that, it's a certain type of way we gotta conduct ourselves, a certain type of way we have to live. And first things first, we gotta get into we gotta turn back to who we are and we gotta get to knowing who we are and we gotta get into these scriptures man so uh that's pretty much it lord when this video was at a final close i'll be going our praise to yahweh by shim yahweh shai by shim rakadash shalom